مرحبا يا جماعة أنا آسفة أنا كتير متأخر هاي أسبوع مع الفيديو بس هيني وصلت تعرفوا الحياة الأم صعب شوي <تصفيق> not that I'm complaining عندي كتير مشروع مش I, like I have a lot of projects on the side that I am constantly doing and I work freelance and all of these things so I'm here هيني okay so <تصفيق> كلكو بي بال بس بال بس بلوني بال بي كلكو بتسلوني شو صار مع الفلافل والتبعت الفلافل الفلافل فليكر I got you some more falafel so I can make you guys a sofra اليوم a sofra is a kind of traditional um, a traditional like it's meze basically um, it's like a, a range of different small things that you have that are in season that are in the fridge that you need to get you need to um use up primarily like hummus and labaneer and these things um sofra is like like farmers meals i suppose or from what i understand it's like what farmers eat um because people tend to because they tend to make the sofra out of their own kind of produce jams that they make um the labaneer the whatever if people make labneh, of course people make labneh. Um, za'atr that they might have made or whatever's in season or eggs from their chickens or whatever it is. Um, so, اليوم بدي أطبخ صفرة. I'm sorry for my Arabic. أنا آسفة. أنا آسفة آسفة آسفة. But I'm trying, يعني. Okay, so. بدي <laughs> بدي أطبخ فلافل. بدي أحط الحمص على صحون وكل شيء. زي هيك أول شيء بدي حط الماي في ال في البريق بعمل شاي ثاني شيء حط الفلافل وبالزيت أوكي بالأردن نحنا نعمل الشاي بدون حليب مش زي بريطانيا بدون حليب ومع سكر ومع مرمية. painful this is. you can see the difference between when I practice for a video in Arabic and when I don't practice for a video in Arabic. okay. so this is. <laughs> there are beauty bloggers out there like fashionistas showing their or hijabi make hijabi tutorials with their pins and here I am with my مرمية. oh god I'm so simple. right here we go. so مرمية. yeah this is dried مرمية. Dried sage leaves. I love a lot, a lot, a lot of sugar. So, yani, hot machine. But this is my falafel. I've done that. Here is the falafel thing. The battle falafel. Because I know that that's what you guys are really here for. Look at that. That's a sword. It's a plastic sword in the background. Okay, right. So, let's get started. So I pull this back. The mix is actually really wet. I don't know what I'm doing. I just feel like I've seen people do this in the falafel shops before. Um, something like, something like that. Is that good? What do you think? It's a bit. It's gonna come out a bit crispy. All right, let's just go for it. Woo! Pay attention, Rachel. وهلا بدي بدي مقلي بدي مقلي الحلوم حلومي تشيز I'm gonna fry the cheese I didn't turn the heat down so they're a little bit <laughs> blacker than I would hope for and when I said black <laughs> I, I mean I burnt the hell out of them these falafel have been to hell and back You're so excited to see it. They shouldn't be this color. They should be a nice kind of golden brown. You should cook them at medium heat. Don't incinerate them like I have. People are going to be making comments that, oh, I know that she doesn't spend much time in the kitchen. You can see, like, she's not very confident in the kitchen. It's nothing to do with the fact that I'm like sharing it with 40,000 people. Next is we've got some um, five cows cheese, which is definitely not um, something kind of that the farmers, I'm sure, would be doing. Um, but we like five cow cheese, so that's what we're doing. 
It's like super, super salty processed cheese. Magdus is a uh, stuffed aubergine. It's um, stuffed with uh, walnuts and chili flakes and all good things. It tastes incredible. It's so underrated. Um, and I've got my labine jerashie. Um, labine should always come from Jerash. They make the best labine ever. I've got this stuff and I always forget the name of it. It's Hamad, which just means like, which means like sour or bitter or something. I don't think it's actually called Hamad. Hamad? Hamad? Can't remember. Um, but yeah, it's like, it's like chili flakes and things. It's really amazing and you can't have hummus without it. People listen, people in the UK listen. You need this, your hummus is missing this. Bilarbi. Hey, al Magdus, Magdus, bjenin. Is she, is she, uh, yani, ktir, 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 zaki. Um, u is she garib, bil Britannia, ma anna, a she is a hek. Anna mukhal, mukhalal, bas anna, yani, um, nahna, nhot, uh, khal, khal, vinegar, khal, ala, al, khiar, u ala, Beva, Keman, or Ala Bossel. We make pickles, but we make pickles with vinegar, um, and they're, they're um, a lot more kind of simple than this. We don't do like stuffed things and then put. We do have pickled walnuts though, not a fan. And here's my sorry falafel. It doesn't even smell nice. Yesterday I made falafel. <laughs> In Jordan, the hummus is so different to how it is in the UK. And I had such um, a hard time getting used to it because I was like, oh, so excited, I'm going to Jordan. They are gonna have falafel and hummus and I can't wait to try the original falafel and hummus. And it's so different to what we have in the UK. In the UK, we've literally got like aisles. When you go in like a big supermarket, you'll have like an aisle. Okay, I'm exaggerating, but you'll have like half an aisle full of different kinds of hummus. You've got hummus without tahini, hummus badun tahin. You've got hummus um, with extra tahin. You've got like all, all different, different kinds of hummus. And it's often quite garlicky and it's often quite lumpy. Um, and obviously we, we make it really differently here. Um, and it's smooth, so it's like made into a paste here. And I used to complain all the time when I first arrived here, I was like, it's um, it's like wallpaper paste. <laughs> People are gonna be hating on me now. I used to complain so much. It's like, it doesn't have any flavor. What is this? Like, the hummus in England is so different. And obviously it's not hummus that we have in England. But what we do here in Jordan to give it that extra flavor is we add this hamad that I mentioned before. And we put that on and we put a lot, a, a lot of olive oil. You can't eat hummus without olive oil and then people will make it look pretty as well by like sprinkling za'atar or pepper or whatever to make it look pretty that does not look pretty at all um but like it's because i've got a camera and i'm trying to multitask sorry i realize i'm not speaking any arabic anymore okay <laughs> these bowls sorry back to the english these bowls um are for full or for hummus, I can't remember if they're like specifically for hummus or full. Doesn't say on the bottom, why would it? Yeah, so these are like traditional ones and usually like, they should be like um, a, a kind of terracotta, I think. Um, like a, a glazed terracotta. But I got plastic ones. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put the labine in it because I'm running out of um, little plates. So yeah, it's not right. You shouldn't do that. It's like not the traditional way of doing it. And it's also like a huge bowl. So that's everything and that's my video. I hope that you like this video. I'm sorry that I keep doing these lame videos. Um, but inshallah soon I will do something more interesting. Who knows? It could happen. Bye 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 bye. bye. <laughs>